everyone, I'm Mara Skevokampo, and here are the top five stories buzzing online right now. Coming in at number five, Jada Pinkett Smith is revealing the secrets behind her happy 20-year marriage to hubby Will Smith. Speaking to Howard Stern, the Gotham actress revealed that for the Smiths, it's all about trust. She said, just because your man is attracted to another woman does not mean he doesn't love you. If your man can't really see another woman's beauty, how is he going to see yours? And speaking of seeing beauty, Jada Pinkett Smith stars alongside Channing Tatum and the boys in Magic Mike Double XL, hitting theaters July 1st. I got the date circled on my calendar. All right, coming in at number four, it must be Festivus because this mini Seinfeld reunion is the perfect present on a throwback Thursday. Julia Louis-Dreyfus joined comedian Jerry Seinfeld for an episode of his show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, the duo reminiscing on their days as Elaine and Jerry on the Seinfeld set, and they had some fun teasing that full-blown reunion we've all been waiting for. Take a look. Oh, okay. What's happening? I'm so sorry. We're doing the Seinfeld reunion, and you're not in it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See, because you're so charming, you got away with insulting her. Profoundly. The full episode is on Crackle TV online. And in other trending Seinfeld news, Jason Alexander has revealed why George's fiance Susan was killed off the show. Apparently, the chemistry on set seemed off with Heidi Swedberg, who played Susan. According to Alexander, at lunch after a day of trying to act with her, Julia Louis Dreyfus said, Don't you just want to kill her? And yada, yada, yada. The rest is history, signed, sealed, and delivered in those fateful wedding envelopes. Coming in at number three, Amy Schumer is killing it. The comedian had the crowd in hysterics Tuesday night at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards and she gave a hilarious acceptance speech for being the trailblazer that she is. The 34-year-old actress also getting candid and making no apologies. Take a look. No, I'm not going to apologize for who I am and I'm going to actually love the skin that I'm in and not be like striving for some other version of myself. The funny girl also dishing on losing track of her confidence in the past, but now she's obviously found it. Go ahead, girlfriend. Schumer wrapping up the epic speech with a big thank you to Goldie Hawn for inspiring her and for being so hilarious. Coming in at number two, it seems that some prayers have been answered. What 1992 musically marvelous movie is getting a remake? None, none other than Sister Act. What do you say to that? Comedy classic is getting a Disney reboot. Originally starring Whoopi Goldberg as a lounge singer who goes into protective custody at a convent, sparking a 1993 sequel and a Broadway musical. Well, now a third act is in the works. Cinderella producer Allison Shearmore will produce, and the writers of Legally Blonde, She's the Man, and Ten Things I Hate About You are sure to whip up some heavenly laughs. Can't wait for that one. And finally, it turns out Kim Kardashian's biggest fan is not one of her 35 million Instagram followers. Nope. It's Doug the Pug. Check him out recreating some of Kim's most famous selfies. Just look at that perfect little pug pout. Well, Doug is the ultimate diva doggy. He knows how to strike a pose, that pug. That's a good one. Well, be sure to tune into GMA for more pop news tomorrow. For ABC News, I'm Mara Skevokampo in New York. Have a great day.